welcome okay so for today's episode i it's gonna be a little picnic painting sesh at the park that's right next to my university so yeah i'll show you the little setup i have some sandwiches and fruits here and i have the little painting stuff paint brushes things here my polaroid so yeah that's the whole setup for today and let's get started Just on the finishing touches. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's like all blended together. Like you can't really see the outlines of like the trees and the trunks and stuff. And the grass is definitely not accurate. But I'm trying to blend it out more so it looks not similar, but. At least okay. Um, yeah, there's like construction going on, so if you hear like the background music, I'm sorry. Like, if I could tell them to please be quiet, then I would happily do that. Yeah, but let's talk about how I started off with painting. Um, it was in college, in sixth form, as we call it there. We had to take like an art class, it was between pottery or painting. So my friend and I, we decided to do a painting. But when we got there, we didn't realize it was like for advanced painting. So they were asking us to do like all the types, like abstract, um, modern, like all of those types of paintings. And I was clueless, like I had no idea what to do. Like I would literally just get a picture from Pinterest and just copy that. Um, but that was allowed, so don't worry. I wasn't like cheating or copywriting or anything. But um, yeah, and as time, as time went by and I did more paintings, I actually got pretty good. But I stopped painting when I came to university. And then during quarantine, that's when I decided to like start picking it up again because you know quarantine everyone's like doing all kinds of stuff so I started doing it again and I mean I guess I'm back to the beginning because I'm not that good at it but it's relaxing so that's what counts right 
but I love like when you're done with painting and you have like paint all over your hands I find it so satisfying not satisfying but it looks so like you actually did something you know and it adds a little color to your hands kind of like makeup oh but the thing is I don't know how to um you see you see the trunks you can't really define the trunks well and I don't want to do like the white because it's gonna look too um fake I mean it all doesn't look real but I don't know mm. let's just try something oh, I haven't used this one yeah but isn't this background so cute During quarantine, uh, my flatmate and I, we used to come here all the time to do picnics. And yeah. Sorry, I'm distracted. I'm trying to figure out what paint to use. Yeah, but it's really windy right now, so it feels nice and cool. Relaxing. But I've been like stuck on my phone this whole time. Like, if I'm not working, I'm on my phone or on my computer, like, looking up stuff or watching movies or TV shows, Korean dramas. Yeah, but it's not good. And I feel like my eyes are getting worse because of it. And then you know how you wake up with a headache or... See how accurate it is. I'll show you. Ah, wait. Oh, <laughs> 100% accuracy if I do say so myself. Okay, so yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for joining me in painting. But yeah, let's take a Polaroid of this baby. I'll be back. <laughs>